All righty, welcome back everybody. Uh, let's give you a rundown of what I've got going on. It's the cylinder head that uh, you probably saw, I had to buy a new cylinder head for one of my CDUs. I had to buy a used one uh, because the other one got hurt when the uh, melted a piston. Uh, so I had to send that other this new cylinder head that I bought, which was a really used one, send it out to Arizona. They remachine it to their sleeper specs and then uh, sent it back to me. That showed up on Friday, so I'll show you that here in just a second. Uh, this morning I went to, it's a farm fleet type of store, but it's called Rural King. I'm not uh, endorsing them whatsoever. They don't support me with any product, but uh, anyway, I stopped there this morning and uh, picked up a few things, namely, uh, it's kind of dark right here, so got myself a couple of uh, shop lights. These were like 12 bucks, uh, and I do have some of their lights around here already anyway, just not this, not this bright. Um, and I really like them, so I'm um, looking forward to putting them things up. I'm gonna put them up in this area where it's nice and nice and dark. I haven't, uh, I got the electrical ran. I just don't have any, don't have any lights in here. So here's the cylinder head that came in. So that showed up yesterday. I can't put the motor together like I want to without the cylinder head. So the thickness of this base gasket that goes between the bottom of the cylinder and the top of the crank case, the thickness of that gasket determines the height of the cylinder and the, and the cylinder head once the cylinder head is on there so i'm just gonna throw this on here it doesn't it's gonna fit about like so it you gotta maintain a certain tolerance between the top of the piston and the dome of your cylinder head if your if your base gasket's too thin and that gap is too narrow between the top of the piston and the cylinder head, well, you can risk some detonation or even worse, you could uh, bang the cylinder, the piston into the top of the cylinder head or into the cylinder head. So you put a thicker gasket on here and that raises the cylinder up. And when I say thicker, uh, they're only four thousandths difference, I think. So basically the thickness of a piece of paper. But anyway, you wanna put the next thicker gasket in there um, to check and see make sure that the cylinder is lifted up high enough which in turn lifts the cylinder head high enough to where the piston and the and the uh dome of the cylinder head have the correct amount of clearance too much clearance uh, it's just down on power a little bit not that big of a deal but too little clearance that could be really catastrophic you can't put the cylinders on with the gasket in here without knowing how much clearance is in there to do it correctly you could throw this together with a 20,000s gasket or something, but you're kind of shooting uh, shooting or pissing into the wind, so to speak, if you don't know what that what that uh, the gap is between the top of the piston and the and the cylinder head. So that's one of the things I've been waiting for is get that cylinder head back. And uh, now I can go ahead and put that together. That came in on Friday. So another thing that I got, uh, this is something I've been, I've had on the back burner for a while. Um, it's not a necessary thing, but it's something I wanted to try. And this is something I'm, I'm getting kind of excited about now when it comes down to it. Woohoo! Check out these babies. So these are rims off of a, a Victory Vision, um, but they're cast. And then I took them down to Teleco Plains and a guy powder coated them for me. Uh, so I got them back. I got them back super fast too as well. So the idea behind these cast rims versus the billet rims that I have, one thing, weight. They weigh a lot less than my billet rims. Um, in fact, this is how crazy I'm kind of getting. These are the, these are the sleeves that go uh, in between the bearings. So when you go to install these, this is the rear one. So when you go to install this and you tighten up the axle on the rear wheel, or you do this one on the front, you tighten up the axle on the front wheel, you don't crush the bearings. You don't squeeze the bearings so tight that you put a bind on the bearings. This, the bearings seat up against this face of these tubes on each side. That tube is a sp very specific length, um, and it doesn't destroy your bearings near as fast. Well, these are steel, and they're too heavy for me because I'm a, kind of a nutcase when it comes to that kind of stuff. So, uh, I'm gonna, I, can, I since I work in a lay uh, in a machine shop that, I'm, and I work on a lathe, uh, I'm gonna either make these out of titanium, get some titanium pretty cheap, or uh, I can just make them out of aluminum too as well. Anyway, that's gonna save a lot of rotating weight uh, on the motorcycle so and i think it's going to look pretty nice too as well there's also one more thing too that i'm that i got going on as you if you look in the background there you see i got my exhaust for the sea dew uh, i got that cerakoted i forgot to take my water box down there that's like a muffler for the sea dew i forgot to take that down there to get it done too but, so i'm going to take that back down there well while i'm there 
let's go take a look at what else I got planned for. So my other uh, pro project that I'm gonna get Cerakoted, the A number one thing that people complain about on a Victory Vision, uh, riders on a Victory Vision, is the heat coming off of the motor uh, on your legs and stuff like that. So uh, this, these are just chrome, uh, chrome covers. There's actually a gap, air gap between the actual exhaust and the chrome cover itself. Um, so I'm gonna pull all this exhaust off. See where my finger's at. It's just a regular, probably a stainless steel exhaust pipe, I suppose. Uh, so I'm gonna pull the exhaust off of this thing. And of course those chrome covers are gonna come off there. And I'm gonna have this exhaust all Cerakoted too as well to try to keep the heat down that comes off the, off the motor and onto my legs. It's not a big deal, but even the mufflers, I don't know, I haven't determined if I'm gonna Cerakote those at all, but the heat that radiates off the mufflers gets into the saddlebag. Uh, so if you put a little small cooler in there for a day trip or something like that, even it gets it even gets warm inside the saddlebags because of the heat coming off of the the mufflers. Those are two things that I got that uh, uh, projects I'm gonna be working on. So this is just gonna be a quick video to tell you what I got going on. I am gonna go back on the other side of the shop and start putting that motor together and hopefully get something going on that CDU pretty soon. Um, that's all I got for now. We'll catch up to you next time.